Welcome back to WC Geography. I present to you today the sixth episode of Interstates, I-43. After covering 80 and 64, it'll be a nice break to cover one of the shorter interstates, and it'll be a nice return to the Midwest, which is where both owners of this channel are from in case you haven't noticed by now. Interstate 43 runs roughly 192 miles entirely in Wisconsin between Beloit and Green Bay. The route's construction was finished in 1981. Unlike the past three or so interstates, 43 actually has quite a bit of interesting history behind it. The first proposal was submitted for an interstate connecting Milwaukee and Green Bay in 1953, but the government strangely denied this request. So Wisconsin took a crack at it again 10 years later and actually proposed a route that would connect Milwaukee, Green Bay, and Superior together. A link to what I think that route would look like is in the description. If my depiction is correct, this would actually make a lot of sense. Interstates are supposed to end at other interstates, even if some don't follow this logic. So this would mean that Interstate 39 would end at 43 in Wausau, and 35 and 43 would meet each other in Duluth. However, the government being the government decided that only the section between Milwaukee and Green Bay was needed, so they approved only that much. It seemed odd because this is exactly what Wisconsin proposed back in 1953. Even more interesting is that Interstate 43 was supposed to use the numbering of Interstate 57, which would make sense, but this was rejected due to Illinois not wanting to take 57 through Chicago. Once Interstate 43 was, temporarily, completed, locals decided that they wanted an interstate to connect Beloit to Milwaukee. The government denied this. Then they decided that maybe they want an interstate connecting Janesville to Milwaukee, and a separate interstate to connect Beloit to Milwaukee. They denied the Janesville request, but approved the Beloit one, and... Yeah, that made a ton of sense. Anyway, they constructed the part from Beloit to Milwaukee, and that's where the route remains today. The route seems to be mostly complete, as the only thing I could find on Wikipedia page about its future is that it might be expanded to six lanes in some parts. So with that massive history section out of the way, let's talk about the route itself. Interstate 43 begins at an interchange with I-39, I-90, and Wisconsin Route 81. From here, 43 continues east towards Clinton, where it has an exit with Wisconsin Route 140. From here, 43 enters Delavan. Outside of Delavan, 43 has an exit with US Route 12. It also has exits with Wisconsin State Route 50. Two miles later in Elkhorn, 43 exits with US Route 12 and Wisconsin Route 11. 43 then exits with State Routes 20, 83, and 164 outside of Milwaukee. I-43 meets US Route 45 and Wisconsin Route 100 right before turning due east and becoming concurrent with Interstate 41. A mile or so later, 43 turns due north where it loses concurrency with 41 but gains concurrency with I-94. In downtown Milwaukee, 43 exits with I-794, where 94 goes west towards Madison and 43 continues north to Sheboygan. On the north side of Milwaukee, 43 exits with Wisconsin routes 145, 190, 57, and 32. 43 then exits with 32 again, as well as Wisconsin Route 60 in Grafton. 43 also meets Wisconsin Route 57 and 33 in Port Washington. It then meets 32 again in Cedar Grove. It then meets Wisconsin State Routes 28, 23, and 42 in Sheboygan. In Manitowoc, 43 meets State Route 42 and serves as the northeastern end of U.S. Route 151. It also meets U.S. Route 10 and Wisconsin State Route 310. In Denmark, 43 meets Wisconsin Route 96. It then meets U.S. 141 southeast of Green Bay before having a three-way interchange in Bellevue with Wisconsin Route 172. 43 then has a cloverleaf interchange with Wisconsin 57 before cutting through downtown Green Bay. Here it crosses the Fox River, which connects Green Bay to Lake Winnebago. From here, 43 ends at an exit with I-41, US-41, and US-141. That's really all there is to I-43, it's pretty short in comparison to other interstates, but it earns the accomplishment of being the first interstate we've covered so far that doesn't go through Illinois. Speaking of which, I have a sneaking suspicion that 43 may have been planned to go to Freeport and possibly the Quad Cities at some point, but I can't find any proof of this, so it's just a theory. A geo-